Welcome to my video on the five reasons, I'm going to say five reasons, not top five, uh, five reasons why uh, the Scout X4 might not be for you and why maybe the alternatives uh, may be better for you um, given the amount of money that uh, you'll be investing in your quad. Reason number one uh, why the quad, uh, the scout, uh, might not be for you is although if you checked my other video, which is available here, um, on the top five reasons why you should go for the scout, I did mention the uh, landing gear. Unfortunately, uh, depending on uh, some people, uh, and, and, and not everyone's experienced it. Um, however, it has been reported. The landing gear um, can fail, and it's not just a simple case of replacing the servos. The landing gear uh, burns out uh, the board inside the quad um, and can completely disable your quad until you get a new replacement board inside. Um, it has been known to happen. Um, at the moment, there is no fix um, offered by Walkera. The only fix is for yourself, and before it happens, to put a fuse in between the servo, the landing gear, and the board to uh, stop the high voltage from basically burning your board. So, as I say, it has happened to some people, it's not happened to me, um, but it is something to bear in mind that people have reported the landing gear burning out the main board in your scalp. Reason number two why uh, the Scout X4 might not be for you is that the ground station, uh, which they plug all over their literature um, about why, you know, that you can get your tablet out, your iPad, your Android tablet, get it out, um, and on their map where you want the quad to fly to, it lifts up, goes to those directions, and comes back and lands. Uh, that currently doesn't work uh, and there is no app available on the iPad. That's the first problem. And the second problem is um, most people will not try it because it's not working correctly. The um, app crashes, um, it causes problems uh, pairing with the Scout. Um, and um, my understanding is that uh, it is not easy to set up at all. Um, I've not even tried it, I'm not even gonna risk trying it. Um, at this moment in time, uh, it is apparently all very much related to the uh, app that is provided. Um, and so they have a product which would work fantastic, but it's currently not working at this time. Um, so that's the ground station that really uh, is not working correctly. Reason number three uh, is the fact that the follow me feature, which involves you uh, carrying um, the little sort of Bluetooth little device, um, uh, is not working as well. Apparently we're also getting problems with that, uh, that it doesn't pair properly. It, what may seem like a simple feature um, whereby you just simply hold something and this literally follows you everywhere you go. Again, it's not working correctly. Uh, there does not at this moment appear to be any solution to it. Um, and so it's another product which they use to sell the, the, the Scout with um, and it's not working. I'm not gonna use it. Uh, I don't trust it uh, at this stage. And so that's another thing that uh, is a reason why the Scout uh, is being sold 
um, with something that really is not working that well. Reason number four uh, why the Scout is uh, maybe not for you is if you're very keen to get the best uh, picture you can from the Scout, um, you might want to consider uh, another uh, quad and look into gimbals. The, D, the Walkera gimbal, whilst it is very cheap, I think it's only around 150 US dollars, it does the job that it needs to do, but it is not anywhere near as good as it could be. Um, and you do find that it's not as stable, uh, the, the gimbal is not as stable as um, what DJI offer um, with their gimbal. Yes, it pay, you pay a lot more, but then at the end of the day, it's about price as well, isn't it? You're paying more to get a better product. Um, and as I say, this does the job. You can look at more my other videos to see that it's doing the job. However, um, when it comes to wind, that kind of thing, it's maybe not as stable as it should be. Um, and they could do with some form of enhancements to it uh, to um, get it right up to one of the best um, gimbals out there at the moment. Finally, reason number five on why uh, the Scout might not, might not be uh, good for you is there is again uh, reports of the Scout um, falling out of the air, um, turning off mid-flight um, and uh, or coming down to land, uh, getting to about here and then the motor's just shop it stopping and it literally just falling like that. Um, it does not appear to be the reasons as to why this is happening. Some people might say it's due to the be slight problem with the connectors in the battery um, or the connectors between the battery and the Scout. Um, other people are simply saying that it's um, the way that you've uh, prepared the quad before taking off. Um, and if you've seen my other videos, really need to wait three minutes, arm, disarm, wait, arm, disarm, you know, just so you can get a good GPS lock. Um, and as I say, some suggestions are that people may not be doing that. Um, but there is no particular reasons why it's doing it. Um, and as for the reasons why when you do return to home and it comes to about here and then it drops and then it just turns itself off, again, there does not appear to be any uh, rhyme or reason for why it's doing it. Again, it's not happened to me. Um, I, again, have been fortunate. Um, however, there are a number of people out there who are reporting um, this to be the case. And going on from number five, when we talk about uh, engines turning off. Uh, there have been a few flyaways um, as well. The thing is, that goes with the territory of quads. I'm well aware that Phantoms fly away. I'm well aware of a scout, at least one scout that I know from someone who has flown away. Um, these things happen. The reasons why, I don't know, could be interference in and around the area. Um, it could be a number of reasons. They do happen in quads. It's not specific to the Scout, but it's just bearing in mind that when you do invest a lot of money into something like that, um, these are not like um, regular planes that once the reception goes or anything, they just uh, fall down or whatever. They might just keep going. So it's worth bearing that in mind when you're investing in the Scout.
So those are my top five reasons why the Scout uh, might not be for you, or the, the top five reasons why maybe you really need to consider uh, what I've said um, and maybe look into it. Um, the five reasons that I've mentioned uh, out of all of those, the, I've not had any problems with them, but it is worth noting that it could happen to you um, and it's something to bear in mind that, you know, if we've had reports of it with a scout, it could be that there is a, a you know an overall problem or it might just be that there's some, been some bad, um, a bad, well, uh, soldering going on or something like that. So I hope that video has been uh, a bit of use to you. Um, please rate and comment um, and I will see you again soon for some more videos.